going to do a mid-May monthly reading for, let's start with Taurus. Hi, y'all. My name is Malorin. I am a psychic medium and a divination coach. So what we're going to start with is a pendulum chart. See, what does Taurus have to focus on this month? Okay. Seems to be looking at finance. Anything else? Yes. Okay. We see creativity. Okay, Taurus. So a focus is on finance and creativity for you. So we know these are the things. Let's get started with the reading. So what can you have to tell us about Taurus's finances and then Taurus's creativity? Okay. <laughs> Really interesting. So just to start, we have the Six of Swords here, Taurus, for you. And this is in the finance energy. So let's start with Jupiter and Taurus for you. So Jupiter moves into Taurus on May 16th until May 25th, 2024. So we have a whole year of this. And Jupiter for you is really going to be bringing so much abundance and so many opportunities for you to increase, obviously, finances and creativity. So with finances with the Six of Swords, this is telling me that either you might be changing jobs, moving into some, moving into another field, doing something else. There's definitely this energy of enhancement, enhancement for a better reason. So if you're moving or changing, there's a reason behind it, obviously. Taurus energy, you're not going to just pick up and go for no reason whatsoever. So let's just get more information about this. Interesting. Um, I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing work. If you haven't been healing, doing energy work or just therapy or just going outside, kind of being more active, but you've been doing, we've been doing some work. Okay. So the fact that Jupiter is moving into Taurus, there's a whole host of planets going already in Taurus. We have the North Node in Taurus. We have the CEO. Kind of going on the list here, we have um, Mercury, the Ascendant, we have Vesta, the Sun, Uranus. So this is whole Taurus party that's happening here. So I feel like you're very supported. You're very much supported. Yeah, we have the Magician coming in here um, for you, which is just giving you more confirmation that you are supported if you were to make this move to actually go into something else. Okay, uh, let's get an energy or an animal card. So with Jupiter and Taurus, you really want to put your all into your creative endeavors. You already have this here with the magician. So this is telling you that already, if you do more of that, this is more of a dedication, more of kind of putting your, you know, keeping your nose to the grindstone, getting it done, that you can, you can move forward. Definitely by, I, I'm telling you with Jupiter and Taurus, we have a whole year of this. And I'm very excited about this. I'm, I'm an Aquarius, so it's a square in my energy. And I love squares because squares kind of push you out of your comfort zone. They push you off the ledge. Sometimes we need that, right? So Taurus, we have the stingray reversed for you. And then we have the hummingbird. But this is interesting because I'll start with the stingray reversed. I feel like this is very much the energy maybe you've been in for some time with the stingray. The stingray can, in essence, what I'm picking up, can sometimes sting itself can sometimes be its own worst enemy. And I feel like Taurus, this is something that you have been working through and trying to mend and fix, especially in your financial or work situations. So the fact that Six of Swords is coming up here is just telling me that you are realizing this and you're making moves to do this, to do something about it. We have the hummingbird, which is really interesting. So this is giving me the tor the energy of Taurus. This is when you see a hummingbird, you know, obviously hummingbirds only they like sugared water, they like sweet things, and so does Taurus. <laughs> so with the hummingbird here behind the stingray, after you start kind of stinging yourself or maybe stinging other people, maybe, maybe you're a bit reactive. I don't know. Um, but I feel like the hummingbird kind of shows you that you're moving more towards things that bring you light, bring you energy, make you really happy. And hence, we're talking about creativity now because I feel like they're both kind of connected. So with creativity, we have the four of swords reverse. Okay. 
This is interesting. Again, I feel like you've been, I want to say stagnant. Maybe, maybe I would say that. <laughs> I would say that. Uh, but you have developed a lot of patience and stamina for sure. And with the sore, with the sore cards coming out right away for a Taurus reading, it's interesting because it tells me that you are now, you've been resting and trying to figure things out moving forward. And with the swords coming out as a your first energy, this is telling me that you're not only acting on just action, but you're also really thinking it through. This is not a rush job. This doesn't look like a rush. This looks like something you've really contemplated and put energy into. Okay. So creativity, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this could be maybe why there was stagnancy. I feel like sometimes with the creativity, you know, I'm, I fit into this boat as well, where, you know, all of our energy tends to go towards our work and our business and what we can produce to make money. Because of course, if you have the time and you do have a couple of hours in a day, it would probably be beneficial to put that energy into your work in some capacity. And I feel like maybe that's why you were resistant to the creative space. Possibly because it's like, well, it's not going to make me money. So why am I focusing on this? <laughs> why am I trying to build this up? Uh, so Taurus, I feel, yeah, there was a resistance here, butterfly reverse. So this is, this is all the cards of kind of resisting and not really, not that you don't want to move forward, but it's definitely energy of, you know, let me just get a little bit deeper into this. Like why, where's this resistance coming from? I mean, we do have Murphy retrograde in Taurus. So it's ending soon, thankfully. <laughs> um, yeah, we have the wounded child, Taurus. Okay. And the wounded child focuses on, it's definitely the energy of forgiveness moving forward. Um, it could be family related uh, things. That's kind of that's my pendulum to see. What's happening with Taurus? Is it yeah. Close family. Hey, father. The mother. Mother's side. I'm not saying everybody's dealing with mother wounding here. Um, actually, let me get a card to see what you're. What your mother represents here. Oh, starfish reverse. So this could be some leftover wounding, I would say, in the family line, especially your maternal line of, of women or people not really um, moving towards their full potential, not really, um, you know, living, living this magician energy really going full force. Uh, so there could be a resistance to, again, maybe it just wasn't, it wouldn't make money, but it makes sense. It's not practical. Oh my goodness. We have two hummingbirds here for you. We have the six of wands. Okay. So this is more confirmations again. Hummingbirds. Oh, they're like meeting each other. Hey, so <laughs> we have another, another hummingbird. This is, wow. It's, it's your time, Taurus. We have, and this is a six of wands. So this is saying like, if you move into these new spaces, especially focusing on your creativity, maybe the way that you communicate something to the rest of the world or to your office or to in your business is very unique. It's very different. So, you know, take that as a sign and also take it as a sign if it feels good to you. Remember the hummingbird. If it feels sweet, if it feels nourishing, if it feels... Yeah, kind of like makes you feel light inside and sparkly and you want to continue doing this. And this is the thing, fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, we're very good at sticking to things, which is amazing. You know, it helps us in many, in many ways, but it can also put a, put, a, put a monkey wrench in things because we can get so stubborn and so focused on finish this thing, even if halfway we stop liking it. Even if like from the beginning, from the first week, we were like, I don't like doing this, but I said I was going to do it. So I'm going to make sure I finish it. We're guilty of this. I'm guilty of this. Again, I'm an Aquarius. So I am so guilty of doing that. And we all show, it all shows up differently for all of us, but it does feel like there, yeah, there were definitely things that you were doing that just didn't feel, didn't feel good to you. And also it could be not only we have finances and creativity. This could be even maybe a lot of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, people leaving home, 
moving to a new home, doing something different within the home. Maybe it's fixing up your home space in some way. But I feel like you are, you're stepping out of your comfort zone here, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising. So we have the author first, which is really exciting. And then we have teaching. So yeah, you inspire young people to learn and you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed, make time to write it. Okay, Taurus. Yeah. I mean, it's all about, it seems to be writing here. It's writing, it's teaching, it's sharing what you know. It's moving towards those things that light you up and make you really happy and joyful and sparkly. <laughs> This is beautiful. So let me see if there's any, let me just ask if there are any obstacles to this. Because this all seems really, really good. It's not like I'm looking for anything bad. I'm not looking for anything bad. But um, I just want to make sure I'm getting the whole story here. So yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse. So the challenge is, Seven of Pentacles reverse, is to make sure that you're not... Um, that you're not not putting energy into this in a sense so that you are still building you are still growing like i keep, I keep getting energy like don't give up don't stop um especially if again if you're really happy about something you're doing something really different or if it's a new partnership or a new maybe a movie to a new location and then you get there and you're like all excited and you get there and it's like mm, the office is kind of far actually i don't really like the drive too much or this new person they were so exciting in the beginning and now all they want to do is watch netflix or you get to this new location and it's like yeah my water is like running brown <laughs> it's like there was excitement before and then it was just like wow so stick with the taurus stick with it i feel like your your guides your intuition is not going to lead you wrong here especially if you feel really excited about it this is also an indication that to keep going keep going at it you will see the benefits of this as as the year as the year progresses so i love this we have yes so capricorn got this last month or early this month i should say and it says just say yes pretty much so I love this because, like I said, this is you just saying yes to these opportunities, saying yes to using using what you have, right? Saying yes to moving towards only the sweet things, only the things that bring you joy and make you happy. And yeah, I think it's it's trying to even get you to trust all of these Taurus aspects, especially Uranus and Taurus, which is a seven year transit. We're kind of toward the end of it, and. It's been doing a huge overhaul on the fixed signs, especially, but for all of us in terms of how we trust and who we trust, especially for Taurus. <laughs> so you have been dug out with a crowbar here with Uranus. And I feel like this is Uranus doing its work. I mean, this is the card of Uranus here, the magician. Um, so you are making these changes, you are moving forward and you're making, and you're not almost like, you're not scared of it. This feels exciting. So yeah, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. I'm really excited about this, these changes for you. Please let me know in the comments if what, what these changes are. I would, I would love to know, well, are you moving? Is it a new job? Like what's happening, Taurus? This is exciting. So once again, my name is Malloran. I am a psychic medium intuitive coach. And if you like what you've heard, please subscribe or like, follow for more, share it, <laughs> whatever you got to do, whatever you do. And I will see you next time around. Have a beautiful rest of the month and talk soon.